Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. Way too many people. It's crazy. I expected about 20 or 30 people. Okay, well, we're just going to be uh, entertaining and funny. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get Ross on this uh, chat somehow. Um, let me turn this around. You will learn I am phone illiterate. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Happy, happy Friday. Um, thanks for all these uh, messages. I'll try to keep this fast paced, entertaining. Um, I've been holed up in a quarantine as many of us have for many, many, many days and many nights. And I'm losing my mind a little bit. So I thought, why not catch up with people in this method? Um, so Ross will be my first um, guest. And if this goes well, maybe I'll do it on a weekly basis. Um, if you have any comments or ideas, let me know. I have a lot. I think I'm adding Ross. And um, yeah, I think I did. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rock. How's the background music? Is it in the way or is it um, a little bit annoying? It makes me. It makes it harder for me to uh, to talk and think. But I also think awkward silence is awkward. Where's Ross? He says he's waiting for him. Okay, while well, I was waiting for him. I am going to introduce him via some things I found on the internet for those of you who don't know Ross. Um, so the favorite, my favorite thing I found is um, an introduction from Urban Dictionary, which is, says that Ross is the, Ross Fetterman is the great tied drummer of Sally Hall, a band. He's cool and talented and very active on Instagram. And he's more attractive than Joe Holly, by the way. Joe, take that. It's official. And uh, the best member of Tally Hall is obviously Ross Fetterman. And uh, thank you to Gyro Girgus for that introduction. Um, do I have to press anything to get Joe? Is Ross in here? Uh, won't let me join. Okay. Ugh. We're going to make this happen, okay? And try again. Add. Waiting for Ross Fetterman. Connecting. There he is. All right. I had everything good to go. And then I realized I had never given Instagram audio permission. So it did not. Um, it, yeah, it did not have my audio. Okay. Can you guys still see me? Uh, I can't see me anymore, but that's fine. Oh, you know what? I, I, oh, I my gosh. Oh. I had my phone facing the wrong way. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Woof, we're all here. We're all ready to go. Okay, three minutes down. We got to keep this moving. Um, so yeah, Ross, you have a great introduction on um, Urban Dictionary if you haven't seen it. Um, and then I was looking for some other introductions. Uh, and uh, you're on IMDb and there's a film you were in called LA Noir in 2011. Do you have anything to say about that? I think it's a video game. Is it? Yeah. How do you know that? Because I did some voice I did some like random voice thing for Colin, who was like Ryan Brady's roommate. Okay. He that worked for sense. Rockstar Games. That makes sense. I think that's what that is. I don't know otherwise. I thought you were in an action adventure movie. Um, also, also I'm a little, there's a small I'm a part of me I thought maybe it was a porn or something. <laughs> No. It no, just I'm sounded kind of terrified very to find strange. Out I have an urban dictionary entry too. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the other thing I wanted, uh, my, the favorite thing I found about you is this, and I told, I sent this to you. It's um, Ross Fetterman holding your album. It's a really great Instagram. So if you guys want Ross to hold your album, just mail him a copy and he'll hold it for you. And then I'll own your album. <laughs> exactly. It's a big scam. With no, with no, no turntable to play it on. Giant scam. Okay, so Ross, what have you been up to during quarantine? Uh, same thing I was up to before quarantine, just working a lot. What um, are you working on? What's uh, what's 
your non-musical life at this moment? My non-musical life, yeah. Um, well, I shouldn't say the same thing. Things are very different. Um, I only go to work now. So okay. I, yeah, I haven't been in a store since like the first week in March. Um, in fact, I haven't been inside of a building other than my work or my home uh, for like, yeah, two months, basically. Are you um, on the food delivery train? We're doing the food What's delivery mo mostly because we have, we still have coworkers. Our companies have scaled back to like tiny teams, but you know, it, given that we still do need to interact with other people at work, we're trying to remove any other interactions we can. Cause the whole thing is about like in aggregate, all of the points of contact between people, you know? So you just kind of want to be aware of which ones you can minimize and which ones you can't. So we're, we're doing everything we can to, to only, keep it to the points of contact we have to. Um, what? But, but what are we doing? Yeah, so um, I, I work for a company called Generate Biomedicines. And um, I, we have a website now, finally. We have a name, finally. When I started working there, we didn't have a name or anything. Um, but you can go check it out. And I can't really get into the details of what we do, but um, we, you know, it's, a, it's a biotech group um and so we are we are working hard trying to come up with answers my wife's doing the same thing she's actually still at work as we speak um so it's been a little crazy and hectic but uh it's sort of been it's been nice not not having the traffic and not yeah. having we're, we're driving and not taking the tea so um okay. it's been a lot it's been a lot of like yeah it's probably other than the work part though the same thing a lot of people are doing i imagine which is like cooking a lot at home and, and uh, how close are you to a vaccine that's what everybody wants to know uh, yeah um i don't know i'm not i'm not doing any vaccine work so okay so i don't i don't, I don't know but uh vaccines take a while to develop generally also for some reason a bunch i've seen a bunch of trans rights pop up what do you oh, have to yeah. say about trans rights go trans rights yeah, go trans rights. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like that's such an easy answer. Um, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. I, uh, I, I probably because the last, last time I DJed, I put a big trans flag on the back of my laptop because I knew there'd be a lot of okay. people there. So um, that makes it, uh, that makes it, that's, uh, that's why uh, you're getting that, these trans rights. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, makes yeah, yeah. sense. Now, okay. The yeah. So have you felt any need to participate in any cultural phenomenons during um, quarantine? Uh, and for example, I only thought of three and I did all of them. One of them is Tiger King. Have you watched it? We, yeah, we watched most of it. Okay. It's, it's pretty entertaining. Yeah. It's very That's all I, really I mean, it's, about it's, it. it's, it's, it's like they, they wove the story really nicely. Right. I mean, it's just like the fire, the fire festival documentary was the same way. It's like, what do you feel about tiger rights? Oh, uh, I I don't know. I I mean, I'm all for tiger rights mm -hmm. in general. Sure, like animal rights. Now, whether or not you can tell whether one of these places is abusing the animals or caring for them seems like a tough call, right? Yeah, I won't put you on the spot about trans tiger rights. Trans tigers are that's <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a whole other story. It's a whole different thing. Okay, next thing, um, Animal Crossing. Have you played it? No, in fact, I don't really know what Animal Crossing is. Okay. But wait, game. wait, wait. Well, I do know one thing about it. I, I know that you can make your Animal Crossing world to have like real pieces of art and like album art and things in it. True, correct. Yeah. Um, is it like I, a Sims? Yeah, basically. I, I got sucked into that vortex for about a week. I'm sure some people watching this have and like, it just wasn't the best. Uh, Use of my, my oh, time. Wow, people are calling me a boomer because I don't know Animal Crossing. It's it's like it felt like a job to me. Like <laughs> every day, I had to water my plants, I had to pick my weeds, and like chop my trees, and it was just like don't don't you have to do those kinds of things in real life though anyway? Yeah, right? like, that's the thing. It just felt like like I had to take care of it every day. I was like, I needed a couple hours in the morning to take care of my kingdom. Um, anyway. No longer on Animal Crossing. Sorry, people. Um, and then, have you listened to the Fiona Apple album? That's the third thing. I no, no. And I've been cultural meaning phenomenon. to, and I just, like, I, I want to, and I am planning on it, and I just haven't had, like, the block of time to dedicate to it. Totally understandable. Is I don't it, know. It's worth it, though, I'm assuming? Everyone's, like... Yeah, it's great. I, to be honest, I got, like, 
75 percent through and then i uh got too tired and i haven't gone back to it but it is okay. it, it, it was that's it was kind good. of how i'm at with tiger king so okay 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 um okay next up uh well everybody's probably tuned in because of tally hall or musical miracle musical so do you have any updates on either front nope are there more vinyl or t-shirts or anything coming Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'd love that, but um, not, not a, I feel like not a good time, not a convenient Fun. time to try to like, get the size. ball rolling on that stuff, right? I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, true. Maybe, but maybe I, not. We should. I, I don't know why we don't have Tally Hall t-shirts available, frankly. We can do that. I think we all feel that way, too. I, I think that we just, we just got to coordinate that. Okay, next up, will Tally Hall ever release a cover of Every Day? Oh, um, why are, I mean, <laughs> can you answer these questions too? <laughs> I don't know. I just saw, I, re, I was reminded you're reading, on the you're internet. You're reading what you see. That's cool. Yeah, I was, I was reminded on the internet that you, you sang that um, live and uh, we never really discussed a, lot, a real recording. No, so we didn't. I just wanted I mean, to propose it to you right now. I feel like we, we, we only did a couple of recordings of, of covers, right? Yeah. Um, and then last question is, have you seen the new Rick and Morty? No, I haven't. Okay. You kind of got, you're one of the people that were into it. Yeah. For, for I, definitely season, season one, I was like, I couldn't get over it. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. It, I, I sort of like slowly fell off. I got less and less excited about the new seasons for some reason. Um, I don't know why. I, I, I'm assuming it's still as good as it was. It used to be. It was really good before. Um, yeah. It's the new one's good. Third. Okay. I think it's, what happened to me with like Super good. Jail too is like the first season of Super Jail was like so much better than all the remaining seasons. Yeah, they just gave up in that show though. Well, I think it took them like I I, don't know, I met some of the animators once at Matchless. There was That's some cool. Yeah, I think it was for like the season 2 release and they were saying like they spent so long animating it. Like it took so much time cuz all the scenes are like super intricate. And I think, like, when they realized it was a hit and had to crank out more, it was, like, really tough to keep that. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen with Rick and Marty. Um, next up, I have a bunch of questions, I guess. So if people ask questions or you have questions, you can ask them. And um, I guess there's a question mark in the bottom of the screen. Um, so first, I'm just going to go rapid fire, okay? What are you yeah. working on these days? What am I working on these? Are you I working on any music these days, actually? That's a good question. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I had, I still had been DJing. I was supposed to DJ a couple things this summer, but they've been canceled, um, sadly. Uh, other, okay. than that, other than that, though, nothing, really. Can you give us your best yeehaw? Oh, man. My neighbors <laughs> are going to wonder what is going on. Go for it. Yeehaw! Okay, that was good. That was good. Okay. Um, uh next up is okay have you seen bald joe have i seen bald joe yes uh, in person no have i seen a picture of bald joe on instagram yes have you is talked it, to him while watching is it is it bald though i feel like it's shaved shaved head is different than bald that's that's a distinction right yeah i haven't is, seen bald joe bald, in, in bald in, either but bald implies like loss of hair yeah it's a Naturally. choice yeah, no choice. Yeah. Okay. Good question. Good question. Oh my gosh. They're just pouring in. <sighs> okay. How's your health? No. Okay. Um we know your health is good. That's um good. what's the true meaning behind Muckablaka? That's a really good question. Oh yeah. Should we actually explain to people the what the why not, I guess, right? I don't remember, so go for yeah, it. Yeah, oh I'm you don't remember? So we had the, on the internet show, there were all of our like animal characters, right? Mm -hmm. There was the the penguin, and then the horse, depressed horse, was one of them. Um, and then jerk chicken was just like the complete a hole of a of a chicken, like literally a jerk, right? Um, yeah. And we didn't we decide that like he should be listening to like thug gangsta like just rap you know like like have you know not i don't know just like that's what do they call it like murder ink beats you know that's sort of like yeah 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 just just some type of hip-hop basically um and but then we decided it had to be like clucked in chicken so then we decided we had to go into the studio and record 
that entire song just to make a chicken rap song. I mean, we'd spent a whole day. We'd, like, that was like a track we recorded just to yeah. do the background music and the internet show. That worked I think out just, well. We thought it was fun. I, had, yeah. I did not expect to ever have it licensed. It's a huge hit. Yeah, it was on The Good Wife biggest, and then The Roots. You saw that The Roots played that when Julia and Margulies were yeah. cast, right? Biggest version of the chicken dance of all time. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records. So that's the story. <laughs> that's not true. But yeah. Um, okay, there's a lot of questions. Guys, I wanted to keep this chat pretty short, and this will take us forever. So um, is there anything else you would like to talk about, Ross? Yeah, I was just, just going to say it's good to see you. <laughs> yeah, good to see you too. We yeah. haven't actually talked face-to-face -face in no. a while. No. And that's kind of the idea the of this, right? Yeah. It's uh, cool. Yeah, uh, the we do talk in the phone now. We yeah, uh, and we definitely uh, um, stay in touch. One of the questions was, do the where's how's Rob and Zub so Zubin? Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's on the front line right now, uh, working I, at a hospital. I haven't, I haven't talked to him in a while, um, but I mean, he's he's a doctor, so. Yeah, the last we heard, he was like he was quarantined for he couldn't he thought he they thought he might be sick, so he's in for two weeks and then he went back to work um, in the hospital. And uh, as far as I know, he's working. Okay, well, that's a good, that's a good sign. Um, I mean, that, yeah. Yeah, and Rob is, uh, we do, I do talk to Rob pretty frequently and uh, he's working on um, some music. Uh, he works <laughs> on a couple of Disney shows and he's doing that. So I come um, I, I video chatted with Rob recently to try to catch up and mm -hmm. his hands were so immediately full of, of children. Yeah. He's got two, <laughs> had to call two it short. little um, guys, a little yeah. girl, little guy. Little um, and the, the little, the little guy did not, did not want to talk to me. Rob, Rob kept trying to initiate a conversation and the only word he said to me was bye bye Right from the get go. <laughs> bye bye Um, yeah, the, the, I don't think the, man, I'm blanking. But the other one, uh, he, yeah, he Milo? doesn't talk to me either. It's not just you. It's not just me? He's yeah. Just, Milo's just not the most social guy? No. Okay. Uh, and then um, uh, Joe, we both talked to, I, mm -hmm. I feel. He is uh, making some tunes. I, I think he's getting excited about new stuff. So we'll see what comes from him. It's always a mystery. And um, that's, that's the update. <sighs> what else? I'm drinking this delicious beer. So my friend's friend opened this brewery in Gowanus, Brooklyn, called Wild East. And uh, it opened, or actually it was opening right in March. And um, hey. that didn't work out too well. <laughs> yeah. So they're doing a pickup and delivery, and it's delicious. So if anybody's interested, it's wildeastbrewing.com. Nice. Not getting paid for this. It's delicious, though. I, I, uh, haven't, I haven't had a sip of alcohol in like three months. How are you getting through quarantine? <laughs> we both. Ross, we, why is your we, hair gray? Someone's. We I'm wanted to stay as hydrated as possible for immune health. So we just were like, whatever. We're, we're not the biggest drinkers anyway. Um, and like when we do, it's so, like I do miss going to a bar and having a beer. I like normally yeah, when I drink, too. it's because we're like out somewhere, you know? The, the bar around the corner from me, they're doing takeout like cocktails which is remember, uh, not the same thing the, the place in uh there was a place in greenpoint that would put like a mixed frozen beverage thing into like yeah. a styrofoam cup and it definitely had booze in it you could just take it in the park and i'm sure they were breaking the law entirely but yeah um someone is telling me bora might be here do you want to get bora on this yeah let's go for it I, if i can figure it out guys I, can we do can we do a three uh like the, a a three-way chat I, I, thing. I, this is the first time I've ever done a, a two-way. So, um, no, I can. <laughs> I don't think I can. Yeah, just sign up. Sign Bora up for the next one. Yeah, Bora will come in the future. Okay, so leaving you off with the thought. If anybody, okay, actually, I'm very curious. Um, our fan base are like, we basically don't know a lot of the people that are tuned into this, and that's amazing. I don't know where you came from. If you came from Instagram Live, can you just like comment? um rf for ross fetterman just rf just comment it and we'll see um oh, someone asked if i read all the books behind me 
Yeah, did you? This is the oblig obligatory like bookshelf. Isn't that you're, what everyone's doing now? They all you're prepared for your CNN interview. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, in all honesty, like all of those are tapes. Oh really? Those are, that's your okay. Yeah. Show us your tape collection. That's a that's a tiny part of my tape collection. Can we, can we show yeah. some titles? Yeah. Let's see. All right. Um, the Ross collects real to real tapes. They're really hard to get. If you see them in a store, give Ross a call because he might be interested. Can Can you see any? Of, I don't know if you can actually see any of the titles. Uh, it's a little hard to tell. All right. Let's Let's go over here. I have a few that are actually like. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's that's probably that's probably my favorite tape. Um, Why tapes? Because they're uh, oh wait by the uh, I, yeah they're um, the quality is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and here's my tape player. In case anyone's wondering what that looks like, I think I've I've like done, I've posted videos out with this before, so I think people probably know what they look like. Um, yeah, the tape like. Well, first of all, it's just fun to collect something that's harder to find than um, vinyl. Yeah. Because I, I know that if like I collected vinyl, I would be buying way too much vinyl and I don't have the space or money for that much vinyl. Um, the, the tapes are so hard to come by that like you really can only build your collection when you're, you get lucky and you find them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's sort of a self-limiting hobby in that regard. But, uh, you know, the... I guess you know all this. I, I guess I'm explaining this to everybody else. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, figure most people tape, don't collect tapes. No, or no don't know what a tape is. is. So, so to, um, to, to all of the younger generation watching that, that, you know, might be intrigued by sort of like the comeback of vinyl and the analog media, um, most, like, when, thing, when things were recorded in studios um, analog prior to doing it digital, it was all recorded onto magnetic tape, which is what's inside these tape yeah. machines. Um, and they were much larger tape machines that had a lot more tracks to them. But eventually mm. all of that was sort of like um, mixed down into a stereo smaller tape. And then from that vinyl was printed that that sort of was a different, you know, it's a totally different actual physical media. It just had the same music on it. But when you got a tape, you were basically getting a duplicate of the exact same material that the original recordings from the studio were on. So mm -hmm. it was sort of a way of like, you know, getting the most accurate representation of the recorded music as it as it was. Um, now, the caveat with collecting old tapes is some of them just sound like complete terrible. Crap. And you don't know terrible. until you put it on. You don't know until you put <laughs> it on. Um, but but every now and then you have you listened I, to every tape behind you? That's pretty a good much. question. Yeah, yeah, okay. pretty, pretty much. I yeah. hope so. This, yeah. the, when you find them, they're like a discovery. You don't yeah, just like... no, I, I almost always do. Um, I, and I, it's not even on this shelf. I, I have like a bunch of opera and, and, um, yeah. and classical as well, and like symphony music, which I'll often put on if I'm writing or reading or want something without lyrics. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the, the best finds, though, and it's only happened to me a couple times, are like... Uh, sealed tapes where you know that that thing was like produced in 1973 it was six um oh no yeah uh-oh oh wait you froze i, I just got okay you're back if my, it, <laughs> i was gonna say yeah this this may end abruptly when my battery dies yeah i didn't know if this was gonna work for me honestly i feel so old like doing uh instagram live or something like when we when we were touring and stuff none of this existed so no, no, was, right? Like, I don't know. Twitter, it would have been a different time. Twitter was the new big thing. I feel like when I moved to New York. Yeah, we, we were pre YouTube. That's the like. Uh, yeah, all our videos. Like, I feel like, man, I, I'm that blah 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 blah. But <laughs> we were going to. We were basically making YouTube videos before video YouTube took off, and then once it we signed with Atlantic, they didn't really know what to do with videos. They're like, uh. So the internet show is out there, but it's it's picked up more steam in recent years than when we were doing it. I don't know. You're like, okay. Yeah, I mean, Sounds honestly, good. I think <laughs> we're I, jumble. I think <laughs> I, I think we may have been slightly ahead of our time on a number of fronts, just yeah. given how many people are paying attention to this now and the fact that we haven't. Yeah. So we're okay. Been in years. I think it's uh, uh, one more question. Okay. 
Go for it. I think it. we should wrap it up. I was okay. planning to go 15 minutes. I was like, this is going to be boring. This well, how, wait, what time is out for me? What? We're still, we're still under 30. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't want to come across as uh, um, self-important or something like that, you know? Like, but, buddy, I, th I think we broke that barrier long ago when, when we started this in the yeah. first place. <laughs> okay. 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 You're right. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's why I was holding off on doing this because I'm like, who cares? Uh, but I pre really appreciate everybody's watching. Yeah, I, um, it's, it's, it's more for me and Ross right now than it is for you guys. Uh, <laughs> Ross, someone's guessing your height. Is it five eight ish? They're very close. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good, five good, seven. Good. Five seven. They did good. You didn't need to reveal, but you know. <laughs> well, I already said very close. <laughs> is it going to be five eight, five seven, or five nine? uh okay do you have a favorite machine at marvin's Ooh, um yeah it's dark but i used to love the um when i was like young i i love the spanish inquisition machine um okay two questions about songs what happened to start of our city that was a demo that never what happened to what? Made it. the song start of our city Oh, this person's of, going I, deep. I thought you said star diversity, and I was like, I, I do not ever recall. Nope. That was a different song. Um, and then Maybe in the Night. We just never... Did we ever record Maybe in the Night? No, right? Nope. Okay. Yeah, so those just didn't make the cut. We have some uh, deep cuts that we've never done. Everybody asked us about Lemon Demon. I've never heard of yeah. that. Yeah, okay. No, I'm just kidding. I have heard of him. But I don't I've really know the too. music or anything. And I, I don't understand I, the cross uh, fan base, but it exists. I think the guy lives like not not far from me, actually. Um, I I never really knew about Lemon Demon. I had just heard his crazy mashups. Mm -hmm. And there's one if you haven't heard it. It's like I think it's called um, Smash Mouth is listening. Yeah. It's like the greatest, it's, it's literally the, the, the beginning of, first of all, the guy uses like Smash Mouth All-Star for like every mashup on, on one entire record. It's really entertaining. They're like trolling mashups. They're like just hilarious, I guess. Um, but it's the THX sound and the start of um, the first line of, of All-Star. I'll send you a link. It, I've never laughed harder from anything I've watched on the internet than when I first heard that. Um, all right, cool. Uh, there's a lot of questions. We're just going to wrap it up, though. I apologize to anyone who's asked a question. Thank you for asking. Um, I just don't want to keep this, you know, too long. Um, yeah. Thanks for being my first guest. If anybody has any thoughts on uh, the format or things that would be entertaining, um, I think I'll do this again. Maybe I'll have, like, do you have any ideas, Ross? Should I have been more prepared in any way? Or should we have any? I was going to make you improvise a rap. Oh, that would have, that, I'm glad you didn't. We could still do it. <laughs> no, no, we're good. Okay, fine. <laughs> you wait, you um, wanted it 15 minutes. We got to draw the line somewhere. But uh, I might do that in the future. Um, you're lucky you're the first one. Um, and uh, yeah, I might do like a musical guest and then this format. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for it's tuning fun. in, everybody. I, I, I look I look forward to watching your catch ups with everybody else that I haven't seen or talked to in, in months, if not years, probably. Ross, you have any, um, you have any, uh, what was I going to say? Um, I just saw Casey Shape popped in with Where the Ties. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Ugh. Do you have a, a, a last thought on um, coronavirus or any of that kind of? Yeah, maybe. Sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's tough to know like what what people think that are tuning in, because I think there are pretty mixed opinions. Like, there seems to be this growing sort of divide in opinions about it. Um, and first of all, first of all, I will, I will say, um, this is like one of the reasons I went into immunology and, and then decided to go the direction I went after music, um, was because it just seemed inevitable that we would face more threats like this. Um, and, you know, it's it's easy to think about the health side of things. I never in my wildest dreams, like my thoughts never made it as far as to think about the economic impacts. Devastating. Mm -hmm. like, cut out again. My battery's getting really low. Um, so I think that's one thing, I, you know, that like, 
I, I just was never, I don't think anyone, even the scientists, a lot of us weren't prepared for like what it would mean in terms of like just having to shut down so much. Um, I never thought that it would basically kill the live music industry for like a year or two, which is like a super sad thing. It's like heartbreaking. Um, and, uh, you know, I guess there are a lot of us who decide to go into this field to try to make people better prepared because these are inevitable things. They're going to happen. Um, they're going to happen more, you know, the more that we can kind of create a world and an economy that has the capability of adjusting when this stuff happens and, and, and actually sort of like knowing which steps to take. I, I really hope we get better at it because this, honestly, like as bad as this is, it, it could be, it could have been a lot worse. It, it could be even worse the next, the next major virus like this. Viruses are very unpredictable things. Um, I don't think, you know, I, this thing is so contagious. It's, it's so crazy. Like I've never, I've never seen anything like it for like, I guess since the 1918 flu, but we, that was a hundred years ago. We know so much more than we knew a hundred years ago. And we're sort of in the same boat. That's kind of the most depressing part about it is like virology as a field has only existed for about a century. Like we didn't really know what viruses were until 1980, until that flu in like the early 20th century. We've done so much research and we're still right back where we were because it, it's, it's a lot more than just knowing the science. It's like understanding the sociology behind these pandemics, how we're going to like learn to, to, to like just be better prepared next time. I okay. guess that's it. Yeah. But Thanks. anyway, I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope everyone is getting their getting their news from reputable sources and 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 like knowing you know what to trust. Uh, on that note, oh, I do need to say, do not if you've if you've heard of this video called Plandemic, um, very little in that is accurate, near as I can tell. So please uh, watch with caution if you decide to entertain yourself with that video. Okay. I, yeah. I, I saw that pop up today, so that's good to know. It's, I mean, um, from, from somebody in my shoes, it's like hilariously bad. It's, it is so, but it's, da it's dangerous. It's like really, really bad. Okay. I won't watch it. Yeah, just don't even, just don't even. <laughs> I'll watch probably it. watch it because it'll be on my cultural checklist for this quarantine. I now. mean, I tried but to watch it. I got the background. It keeps getting taken down from YouTube for violating okay. stuff. It's a lot of not true stuff they say in it. Um, I, we got to say poggers. I don't know what that means, but it just keeps coming up on the thing. Yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of poggers. 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 There you go. Don't sample it. Don't uh, use dude, it. I'm, I don't know what it I'm means. It's probably a curse word of some sort it's for the, the cool kids. I don't know. Okay. Uh, anyway. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, you uh, too. Lucy, again, good to see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Um, I'm still on. Okay, bye. <laughs>